Hong Kong protesters aren't giving up. The city is bracing for yet another weekend of demonstrations. Right now, demonstrators are forming human chains across several districts and are expected to gather at various shopping malls later tonight. Groups are protesting against alleged police brutality and continue to press the government to respond to their five key demands. Earlier today, hundreds marched through the central business district, briefly occupying main roads and disrupting traffic in central. Many participants were seen wearing face masks in defiance of the government's ban. Meanwhile, the Legislative Council held their first meeting today since July, but things got off to a rocky start. Pro-Beijing and pro-democracy lawmakers got into a shouting match. Some lawmakers wore black masks as they sat in the chamber, while others carried placards to protest police brutality. This comes as the police gear up for another weekend of protest chaos. Several demonstrations have been planned for tomorrow and Sunday. Police today clarified on the implementation of the anti-mask law, specifically for journalists. Roland Lim tells us more. Police clarified that if there were legitimate journalists on the ground covering the frontline news, if they were wearing high visibility vests, visibility vests that carried the word press or had their uh, press ID cards uh, openly, publicly displayed, Journalists will not be asked to remove their tear gas masks uh, while covering the news. That's the message that the police is saying. However, they say that if there are suspicious individuals, including journalists, uh, whom the police deem uh, not able to identify their identity, they will do a stop and question of that person before either allowing them to wear a mask or remove it. Now, the other things that the police uh, uh, press also revealed was that there have now been four reported cases of blackmailing companies or commercial businesses into funding the anti-government protests. Uh, police say they've intercepted faxes or emails uh, sent to shops warning that their, their, their shops would be vandalized or trashed unless payment was made via Bitcoin. Now, of course, the police are looking into these cases with, a, with the highest of priorities.